Hi, I'm Cedric from London Drugs. Welcome to another episode of Travel with Technology Tips. This time, let's talk about traveling with your smart device, be it a phone or a tablet, and how to make it talk to your camera. Now, you might ask, why in the world would you want your device to talk to your camera? Well, very simply, if you have a relatively new camera, chances are you already have Wi-Fi built in. And if you do, here's a neat way to make use of the technology. So here's tip number one. Most of the cameras that have Wi-Fi have apps that you can download for an Android device or an Apple device. Having that app allows you to use the device as your remote trigger. So let's say you're someplace you want to take a night shot with slow shutter speed. You don't want to jiggle the camera. So put it on a tripod or somewhere steady and make use of the remote trigger on your device. Simply press this button and the device takes over. You can make changes to your aperture and your shutter speed and you can take a picture simply by using your device. Second tip. Most people when they travel want to update their family and friends as to what a great time they're having and wish they were there. So first thing you do is go over the camera and start the Wi-Fi. Different cameras do it differently so you have to check your own camera's manual. Then go to the device and look for settings. The settings will go out and look for available Wi-Fi at that point and here is my Fujifilm X-E2. I say, okay, go talk to X-E2. You'll find the X-E2 and yes, it's now connected and they're talking to each other. Then in my case, I, I group all my apps for photography into one window and now I'm starting the camera remote. I go to the camera remote, it'll think about it and there I am. And all I have to do at this point, if I don't want to ch make changes to any of the setting, is press this red button. I have now taken a picture of myself in the studio. And all I need to do at this point is choose the image that I want to import. And it will import it into my camera roll in the device. Now I go back to my device, choose my camera roll, and now with this image, I can send it by email, post it on Instagram, whatever it is that I wish to do. Keep everybody happy, keep everybody posted as to what you've been doing, and that's tip number two. Now tip number three doesn't have anything to do with Wi-Fi, but has to do with backing up your information, which in this case are images. If you're a sophisticated user and you're shooting raw files, with those large files, Wi-Fi is really not the way to go to do backups. All you need to do is to use a camera adapter, plug one end into the camera, the other end into the device, and transfer the images, just like you would, say, transferring a hard drive image. And once it's in the device, another way to do things is to speed up the process when you get home to edit is to have something like this. This is called a leaf eye bridge and this end would go into the device and when you get home the backed up image in this pen drive you can plug into the computer and there you have it. All your files ready to roll. Now if you have really really large files or a lot of files you can use something like a portable hard drive or solid state drive to do the same thing. And again, by the time you get home, it's ready for you to edit and to play around with. And there you have it. Today's tips for the traveler.